what's going on, but it just screwed up everything. I didn't even start yet. One of the biggest questions I had was whether or not I should or shouldn't paint my jet ski. I've never painted before. This was my first time painting anything. And as you can see behind me, this is the end result. What's up guys? I'm Eric with Jet Envy, the jet boat and jet ski enthusiast. And today we're gonna paint a jet ski. I went with guns that I bought off of Eastwood. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then I went with color right paint. All right, we're painting a jet ski. All right, this isn't gel coat. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh no, don't do that. But we're going to do it. We're going to use the ski all summer. And then at the end of the summer, we're going to make a review on how that paint held up uh, during the season. Thing that I'm doing, uh, I learned on YouTube. Everything I'm utilizing today is only on YouTube. I've never taken a course of any kind. All right, guys. So... We're going to start at the guns. I have the Rockwood 10-piece HVLP paint gun set. This is how it comes in its package. Open it up. Let's see if we get it to stay. We'll pull this off. So you get three guns, okay? And the most convenient part is this regulator that you're going to need no matter what, whatever you paint, it, you need to have a regulator uh, at the gun. So, this one's the 1 1.4. This is the 1.7. And this is a 0 0.8. The 1.7 is recommended for your primers. The 1.4 is what you're going to use for your color coat and your clear coat, okay? And then the, the 0.8 is really like a detailed spray. It uses less paint uh, for harder to get spots or small touch-ups. The paint. I got the primer with the catalyst. I got a reducer with the color coat. And the color coat is actually dark gray metallic, which is what you'll find on a 2013 FZR Yamaha Wave Runner. Uh, <clears throat> and then the clear coat with the catalyst. All right. Now I have the instructions. We will be following the instructions. The spray out, I might do it. Uh, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, I guess, color match any paint. This is the ski. As you can see, it's just going to go one color. So however many coats I decide. So this is what I have so far. Let's back up a little bit. You can see right in that area, it's a little light. Uh, I was still trying to figure out the gun. You could see what it looks like. There's some light spots you can see all in this area. Let's get a close up. Alright, so this is when I started to lose air pressure. Like, my compressor literally was down to 20 psi. Look, you can see a scratch that I didn't fix. That's okay. No one's going to notice that. Uh, and then you have the front of the ski. Let's see if it'll... Uh, there you go. Still a little wet. Now, you can see that. Is that because I laid it on too thick? Comment below what I did wrong and why that's happening. In the beginning, I know you're supposed to go a little lighter. Uh... On your first coat uh, that way it has something to bond to uh, the rest of the paint to bond to 
in the beginning, I kind of threw all that out the window and went a little bit heavy. Uh, to be honest, it's probably the best looking part of the ski. So who knows? Maybe I'll go. I'm, well, it's a second coat. I'm going to go ahead a little bit heavier, a little bit closer uh, than when I switched up and everything just kind of went to crap. Uh, so I'm going to let it dry for a few more minutes I'm gonna hit it again and to be honest with you if you feel like painting a jet ski one quart will do roughly two coats of one side uh, and this is this company ain't cheap man uh, the color the quart color cost two hundred dollars it it's starting to seem like it's going to be an eight hundred dollar paint job with no tools included I mean, i'm not looking for perfection but i do at least want to give it all that i got with what i got uh so from that point on we're gonna finish it this time we're getting it on camera Where'd you guys go? I just sanded half a ski. Correction, wet sanded half a ski. And you guys disappeared on me. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't get your panties up in a bunch. My phone died again. Uh, clearly, my charging wires need to be replaced. And maybe uh, my phone will actually charge. And I can get through one video with you guys not dying on me. So we're going to take a look, see what we got show you go over it tell me what i'm doing wrong uh because again that's what i'm doing this for uh for constructive criticism uh don't just criticize me i guess so i just wet sanded this whole side about 90 percent. i gotta get inside the nooks and crannies you can see there's water built up uh, I knew that was going to be a problem, so I got to siphon it out, and we'll go from there. I still got to do the whole back here, but I definitely wanted to get on camera. Me doing this side, you could see I kind of got the runs off. I uh, burned through the primer in these areas. Uh, hopefully, that's not a problem. I don't have any more primer, so... Touching them up might get passed over. Uh, the ski is going gray metallic, so I really just primed it. A, because I had fairing compound and wanted to close that, seal that off. But uh, pretty much, uh, I figured if the paint was going to get scratched and went to the primer, it would still be gray and less noticeable than white. We know it won't get scratched there. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm putting a a nice graphic desi design on the ski after I'm done with this. So that part will definitely be covered by the sticker. Uh, not that that would be a problem if I didn't have a sticker. I'm sure the paint would cover that with no problem at all.
So the primer phase is complete. We just finished wet sanding, as you can see. Uh, I'm not gonna show you what it looks like. You, you know what, maybe I should. I'll just show you guys the finished complete primer job. So this is the finished primer job. Let's get in there close and you can see where I wet sanded. A couple of scrapes, but that's okay. Uh, you can see where I sanded the top to get it a little bit more smoother finish. It was really gritty, uh, especially back here. Uh, and it is kind of still gritty all the way in the back there. Again, with this on there, it's hard to get to. And I don't want to burn through the primer. So because it's in an inconspicuous spot, I'm going to leave it. Uh, and then you can see the side here. Let's get up close. Sorry about the lighting guys. Uh, it's not the best So you can see the wet sanded areas uh, Just enough to knock it down to create a smoother finish. It doesn't need to be perfect It is on the bottom of the ski uh, again when we do the top we will Paint and handle the top with a little bit more care because that's visual. Uh, but the top is in a lot better shape, especially now that I did a bunch of fiberglass and uh, epoxy fairing work to it. So once we get to uh, the color coat, I'll bring you guys back out and walk you through the process. And we're back, guys. Uh, it's the third day since we have painted the ski in primer. Uh, I had other jobs come in. I have an audio system and a motor swap that I'm in the middle of. Uh, but today is my day off. So here I am trying to finish this ski. I wanna be able to flip it back over real soon. Uh, so I cleaned out the, uh, the color coat gun. That's all clean. Everything's pretty much set up. I wipe down the ski with uh, the chemical, uh, the painting prep. I'm not too sure if I'm supposed to do that, but I had a two stroke running outside and the fumes made their way inside. So I know that oil made its way onto that ski. So I cleaned it up real nice. I just gotta go over it with a, t a tack cloth real quick and we'll be ready to go. Uh, I have my paint here, my reducer, and my measuring cup, I almost wish, I do wish, that I, I bought bigger ones because this doesn't fill uh, the paint gun up all the way. So, I got my fan running in the background. I apologize if you can't hear me. Uh, but we're going to try to move real quick. I want to get the paint done today so that way we can move on to the clear coat today as well. Alright guys, so we're ready to paint. Uh, I have my gun set up on my vise with the paint. It'll probably be enough to do one side and then I'll have to re, uh, remix them up and get over to the other side. So we're going to start. I'm going to find a spot for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Again, when I did the primer and when I do the paint, I'm looking for a 75% overlap. Uh, I'm going off of Brian's advice from Paint Society and he tends to do 75% overlap at one point which had to do with the clear coat. I think he was doing the 80% overlap. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but that's pretty much where I'm trying to stay. I don't know if I'm actually doing 75% overlap but that's the idea. So I'm going to find a spot for you guys and then we're going to get to it. Okay, so we came across our first problem. It's dripping at the tip. Uh, I mix it at a one-to-one -one ratio like the can says. 
what's going on, but it just screwed up everything. I didn't even start yet. Check it out. It's all over. What is going on here? All right, guys. So I just laid down the first coat, the first color coat. And at first I was getting you guys uh, a view of the ski. And then I started coming across an issue that must be in, I went wrong cleaning it I guess. I'm not sure. I'm going to show you guys so that way you could look and tell me what I'm doing wrong. But I drenched it in uh, the painting prep, cleaned it, wiped it, uh, used a tack cloth. And I'm still having issues. Check it out. Look. It's all over the ski. When I when I messed up over here, I wiped it all off so I could repaint it, and it's still popping up. So I just said, screw it. I'm gonna just clean paint the whole ski. Look, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Hopefully, you guys can answer me why. Give me an answer of why this is happening to the ski. This is not cheap paint. Alright guys, as disappointing as this is turning out because I screwed up cleaning the ski. Uh, online it says to lightly mist over it and hopefully it will create something to grab onto. Dude... I am disappointed. I took every step cleaning. I guess I didn't do it well enough. I guess I screwed up. We're going to continue. It's too late. It is what it is. If I have to sand and recoat, it is what it is. I'll probably end up wasting this whole quart of paint on the bottom trying to figure it out. The last thing I want to do is screw up the top part because that's what everyone sees. So I'm going to put you guys down. You're going to watch me finish this up. It is what it is at this point. I hope I can correct it. I hope I can recover. Let me show you what I did. So as you recall from the beginning, I had all those fish eyes everywhere. You could still tell the remnants of what had happened all the way down the bottom of the ski. I was able to clear up the sides, most of the front, still some marks there, but it is what it is. So I was able to repair most of it and I ended up washing the ski down with soap and water and then wet sanding. Not the whole ski, but all of the fish eyes, the whole side, the front, and fingers crossed I was hoping that the last bit of paint that I had good enough for one full coat would hide it all and you can see that we did a fairly good job you got some remnants of fish eye here some right here but you can see that it is a whole lot better. It's it's starting to look really cool. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice color. I love this color. It's like a graphite color. I love it. I need to get the clear coat done tonight so I can just be done with the bottom of this ski. Uh, we are going to powder coat all the parts that we took off and I might show that not the process but just like here and there bits and pieces of it uh, I'm gonna clear it hopefully I can charge my phone good enough to get you guys a look at what I'm doing I can tell you right now the videos aren't gonna be as as interesting because I can't keep my phone charged uh, so let me throw that on charge uh, once I'm ready to mix up the clear I'm gonna pull you guys back out and hopefully you know catch some interest from you guys so I'll, I'll see you in a little bit.
we're at the home stretch, baby. We're gonna mix up some clear coat, get it on the ski so I can get home because I'm exhausted. The time change today apparently threw, excuse me, threw me off so much. I was going crazy. So clear coat one is on the ski. You can tell where it's uh, not so uh, wet. We got to re-hit the sides I definitely got. I pay more attention to the sides and uh, the front of the ski and the back. The back looks really good. Uh, only because those are the parts you see. We got a, a run right there. We're gonna have to take care of when we're done. But it's coming out good. It's coming out real well. We're about to, uh, we got a few more minutes. You can tell right here it's not so sticky so we can actually go ahead and hit it again. So if you made it this far, I appreciate it. We turned the ski uh, right side up. You can notice that, that we gotta get the top done and hopefully we'll get it done before Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I gotta head to uh, the graphic designer because the graphics we're coming up with this are gonna be great. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what I can do to make the next video even better. I'd really appreciate it. So till next time, I'll see you guys.